took drugs? No, I, I, I didn't actually take them. The, the guy put the bag of pills in my pocket. Why didn't you just give them back? Because he just walked away. And yeah, so so literally I was holding the, the, the pills in my hand. And for about 10 seconds, I, I thought about it. You know, I think about it even when I don't have drugs in my hand. You know, I, I, I wonder what it, what it feels like. I'm tempted. But I didn't. I couldn't. Because... I owe you and I owe Matthew. Yes, you do. And I couldn't do it to Star. And you can't do it to yourself. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, that's not enough. You know, I, I just think about all the people that I owe and, and then I stop. Oh, I swear. I swear on my, um, my baby's life that I didn't take the pills. Star, I'm sorry, but this is crazy. Marcy just dropped this baby right in your lap. Oh, it was like that. Well, she tears up the adoption papers. She brings Hope over here. Did she even ask you if that's what you wanted? Yes. And she already knew that it was. I know how hard it was. I saw how hard it was for you to give her up. And then, see, you insisted that that's what you wanted. It wasn't. And Marcy knew that. I just... I didn't want to break my promise to her. You know, and she could see how attached I was to Hope still. How much I love her. I thought Marcy was desperate to be a mother. Actually, um, she said that her and Michael, they realized that they would be happy whether they had a baby or not. <sighs> She's changed. So have I. I'm really ready to do this. You're sure? Positive. <laughs> but I can't raise hope alone. Will you still help? When you handed Star the baby, were you sure? It was, um, you know, it was just as hard as I, I thought it was going to be. Until I saw Star's face. Hmm. It was like... Every cell in her body, it just lit up as she reached for hope. And you did the right thing. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Because I know you were ready to be a dad. Yes. But, you know, that look that you saw on Star's face, I think that that was my biggest fear. It wasn't Todd. It was that... In six months, or in a year, or in two years, or, you know, she could change her mind. You never said that. No. I don't know. I didn't want that fear to get in the way of what you wanted. What we wanted. It's... We would have handled it. What are you laughing at? Yeah, I'm... Nothing. I'm just... I'm the luckiest woman I know, really. <laughs> oh, I guess we're gonna... We're gonna have to take this thing apart again. You know, maybe... Maybe we should redecorate. What do you think? Maybe we should get out of here. You wanna go on vacation? No, I wanna move away from here. For good. Sweetheart, of course I will help. I told you from the start, if you wanted to keep hope, I would do anything that you needed. Still, because the look on your face. Well, I was in shock. Yeah? Yes, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know where I'm going to put her down to sleep tonight. Well, sweetheart, that's the easy part. No, we'll just get one of Sam's old cribs and bring it down here. Yes, we will. Mom, that's not what I mean. What? I'm supposed to be staying at Dad's right now, but I want you to help me. I want to be staying with you. Well, you will, because we kind of worked that out today in, in court. You did? You want custody? Well, sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Um, this crazy judge ordered that we all had to live together, uh, including your father. No way! He can't do that! Well, I didn't think so either, but I guess he can because it's, you know, it's family court and they have this kind of creative leeway that they take and he ordered your dad and me to live together and raise, you know, you kids together. We had to figure it out. This is like some bad reality show. No kidding. So 
So what roof? Where are we moving? Well, that part hasn't been figured out yet. I haven't even thought about that. Yeah. What is he going to think when he finds out that I'm keeping hope? Cole, you were caught with drugs. You don't have a prescription. But the guy shoved them on me. Then throw them on the ground. Every two-bit junkie knows that. Do, do you know why the cop could even see the drugs? Because I, I had my arm up ready to throw them into the river. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Me too. Look, I'll take a drug test right now. Whatever you want. No, that's okay. If you're willing, I know you're clean. I am. I swear. Can you make this go away? That's up to Nora. Thank you for everything. I mean, you've been so great about hope ever since the beginning. Sweetheart, that's one thing you're going to learn about being a mom is sometimes when your children need you, you can actually help. <laughs> that's the best feeling in the whole wide world. Yes, it is. I love you. Love you. And I love you, pumpkin head. Mm -hmm. Right. Now. Okay. Ah, I still can't believe it. Mwah. We are going to have so many adventures together, and I promise you that I am your last and final mom, okay? Is that a deal? You probably used to be called Chloe, aren't you? But your name was always Hope. And Marcy named you that, okay? Never forget it. Do you like that name? That's who you are. You're Hope Manning. And I'm your mom. And we are going to have an amazing life together. Starting now. You want to move away from Lambie. <coughs> Why? Do you remember the administrator I met last month at the conference? The one from Seattle Grace Hospital? He's the one who quoted your paper on emergency room protocol, right? Yeah. While you were gone, he called and he offered me a job. What? Yeah. A spot opened up and he remembered that I said my residency was up in a few weeks. He wants to make me an attending in their ER. Michael? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's huge. I mean, it'd be a major... Bump and pay, and cutting edge emergency room technology. Yeah, but it's in Seattle. No, but we, could buy, we could buy a house. You know, and you could you could get your teaching license in Washington State. Wow, you really you thought this all through. Um, I don't know. What do you what do you what do you say? Seattle's really far. I know, but it's it's a chance to start over. You know, I'm in some place new, some place where it's. It's about you and me. Are you just... Are you just afraid of what will happen every time I see Hope? Because I want you to know that mm. I'm perfectly mm -hmm. fine with yeah. seeing her just like I am with Sam. Yeah. I know that. But... I wonder if it might be time for it to be okay not seeing them. Cole! No, sweetheart, he wasn't downstairs. He left already? He and everybody else. Oh, so weird, the party's over? I, I guess so. The house is completely dark, and I think Dorian and Langston must have gone to bed, too. I don't know what happened. Hmm. I don't know. You didn't talk to Langston or anything? No, I've been up here talking to Marcy this whole time. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm, Cole's not here. It's really weird. He said that he would meet up with me. I wonder what happened. Yeah. Cole, you know the drill. You I violated your probation. I mean, that's an automatic remand and a full term. What does that mean? Cole would go to prison. And serve the full sentence for reckless endangerment in Matthew's accident. Nora, please. Uh, uh... Bo, can we? Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, you really, you can look the other way now? Uh, Matthew is healing. He doesn't blame Cole. Cole's trying to heal. And I believe the kid. Well, I believe him, too. But if the judge hears of this, it's automatic remand. I mean, you really want to stop this now? Hang on a second. Oh, i got to take this. Nora Hannon. Thank you for being here. Hmm? Uh, Bo, he really trusts you. I just hope it's enough. Mom, it's okay. 
right? No matter what, don't worry about it. Bo, is there anything we can do? Well, Nora and I talked about this, uh, and we both... It doesn't really matter anymore, Bo. That was the judge who sat on Cole's case the first time. The arresting officer, he put the charges through on his computer in the unit and went right to the judge. So, Cole is uh, charges of possession of illegal substances have raised a flag and everything's out of our hands now. So that's it. I have to go to prison. <laughs>